Bridgerton star Ruby Barker thanked Netflix and Shonda Rhimes for saving her after struggling with her mental health. In recent news, Barker has stated that she's taking a break from acting after experiencing the whirlwind success that comes with being on a hit program like Bridgerton. The actress will be focusing on getting her mental health back in order. Find out all you need to know and more about the actress and Bridgerton in today's video. First up, Bridgerton star Ruby Barker thanked Netflix and Shonda Rhimes for saving her after struggling with her mental health. Barker, who portrays Marina Thompson on the Netflix series, updated her Instagram followers on Thursday, posting a video from the hospital where she's been receiving treatment after being really unwell for a really long time. However, she explained that she's finally received a diagnosis and is feeling much better. I just want to be honest with everybody. I have been struggling, the actress revealed in the video. So, I'm in the hospital at the minute. I'm gonna get discharged soon and hopefully to continue with my life. And I'm gonna take a little bit of a break for myself. The actress went on to explain that she wants to inspire people who are struggling to give yourself a favor and to stop being so hard on themselves by taking a vacation. But Barker didn't stop there. She also mentioned how she never quite understood why people told her she shouldn't be so hard on herself. She was also rage-filled, irritated, and resentful before seeking professional care because of all this intergenerational trauma bundled up inside her. She was bearing the weight of the world on her shoulders, but now she has revealed that she has received a diagnosis about which she will inform her fans at a later date. Finally, Barker said she is relinquishing and forgiving herself as well as drawing a line in the sand. She recognizes that she cannot continue in her current manner and that she must change, which she is attempting to accomplish. The Bridgerton star then went on to thank Sexton, the Australian musician whose sweatshirt she wears in the video, for making music that has literally brought me out of the pits. Before singing a bit of the artist's 2020 song, Waiting on a Better Day, Barker also thanked Netflix and Shonda Rhimes, the executive producer of Bridgerton, for giving me an opportunity, for saving me. She concluded that she can't wait to finish all of her commitments, have a successful profession, and live a happy life because she doesn't want her diagnosis to become a self-fulfilling prophecy. She stated that she wants to survive, that she will, and that she will. She told her fans, and so are you. That's the beauty of it. And so are you. If you're with me, you're in good hands. Thank you. Next, Ruby Barker may be stepping down in the series, but fortunately, we've got good news to share since Hannah Dodd will be joining the cast. Hannah Dodd, who was just cast as Francesca in Bridgerton, is gearing up for the show's infamous steamy moments. In an interview with Page Six on Saturday at the ATX TV Festival to promote her new series, Lifetime's Flowers in the Attic, The Origin, the actress described Francesca's novel as a complete mix of the both steamy and tortured. Dodd also mentioned that she is a massive Bridgerton fan, so she is willing to bring on the steaminess, at times but not at others. Although she explained that she wants it for the people that watch it, the actress admits that doing it is quite scary. In the same interview, the actress said she's ready to start filming season 3 in a few weeks in London, but she's not sure she's ready for the stardom that comes with the Shonda Rhimes show's following. She realizes it's a big deal, even a giant deal for her, but she wasn't anticipating it the day it was announced. She went on to say that the only time she's ever been known was because of a children's show she did in the United Kingdom. Dodd went on to recount how the pilot recognized her from their flight from London to ATX TV Festival, describing it as very unusual and how she turned red. She acknowledges right now that she can't deal with the popularity of being a famous actress since she doesn't know what to say or how to handle such circumstances, but we all know she'll figure it out in the future. Dodd is presently starring as Corin Foxworth in the new season of Flowers in the Attic, a prequel to the original narrative about siblings who are trapped in their grandparents' attic while their mother tries to retrieve their family inheritance. And now, season 2 may have wrapped up, but Simone Ashley is already looking into the future of her character as a mother next time around. If Kate's actress Simone Ashley has her way, it'll be time to stock up on diapers and bottles. The actress has great aspirations for her and Jonathan Bailey's family to grow after marrying Anthony Bridgerton last season. Ashley told IMDb that she is looking forward to Kate becoming Viscount 
business and home leader. She believes she has a lot to learn from Anthony and that they would be great collaborators. To put it simply, the actress expressed her desire to see them have a child. However, she is unsure whether or not this will happen. Ashley revealed her leading man would make her laugh at the time when asked about her favorite experiences from filming the second season. While we wait for a Canthony baby, we already know that the Netflix hit's third season will focus on Colin Bridgerton, portrayed by Luke Newton, and Penelope Federington, played by Nicola Coughlin. Not only are we looking forward to their romance blossoming, but it also means Kate and Anthony will have plenty of time to start a family. It's a win-win situation. Since we're already talking about season 2, we might as well share with you what we know about Bridgerton's third season. Season 3, like seasons 1 and 2, which starred Phoebe Denevoir as Daphne Bridgerton and Jonathan Bailey as Anthony Bridgerton, puts a third Bridgerton sibling in the spotlight, Colin Bridgerton, played by Luke Newton. What about Colin's other half in season 3, you ask? Well, his lifelong friend Penelope Fredderington is played by none other than Nicola Colin. Season 3 will follow Colin when he eventually learns that Penelope is worth wooing and falling in love with, as told in Julia Quinn's novel Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. On May 15, Nicola revealed this to the audience during Netflix's Atas panel, saying she has been holding a secret from quite some time and she can disclose to all of us that season 3 is Colin and Penelope's love story. She went on to say that she has been keeping that secret since two weeks into season 2, and that is the first time she has revealed it during the panel. So, will Kate and Anthony not appear next season? Simone Ashley has assured E! News that she will not be pulling a Regé Jean Page. Her character Kate Bridgerton will appear in season 3, according to the news. The actress said that there would be a post-marriage Canthony tale and that she's happy for the public to watch Nicola and Luke rock it, as well as to continue playing with Anthony and Kate's story now that they're happily married. But Colin and Penelope's story wasn't the storyline for the third book. Why did the creators decide to proceed with their story first? So why did the execs at Netflix decide to veer from the book order? Well, they haven't been following Julie Quinn's storylines exactly anyway. Even though the main characters from book one were the main characters in the season, the same formula was followed in season two. Many original plot points were still missed, changed, or added. According to showrunner Jess Brownell, the series is already distinct from the books. She also described how they're an ensemble show and how the books focus on one romantic couple at a time, with the siblings making brief appearances but not having whole stories. Despite not having the primary character, Benedict might still have a complete story in season 3. Regarding the decision to skip ahead to the plot of book 4, romancing Mr. Bridgerton, Jess explained that she felt the show couldn't wait any longer to tell Pollen's narrative and that Colin and Penelope's time had arrived. Because both of these actors have been on our screens since season 1, the audience has already invested in them. Rather than treading waters with that dynamic, the creators wanted to include it into their season, and it seemed like the right time to do it. Nicola Coughlin seems to concur that Pollen could no longer be put off. As soon as Bridgerton returns, Pollen will take over our screens and hearts. We'll have to wait and watch how quickly they get it together since they must make atonement before a relationship can grow between them. And that's about everything you need to know about Ruby Barker and Bridgerton Season 3. Are you excited for the third season as well? Let us know what you hope to see in Season 3 in the comment section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on. And we'll see you next time.